Hello and welcome back to Indoor Games. My name is Casey and today we will be continuing our Sith Inquisitor story playthrough, Star Wars The Old Republic. And these two guys right here are holding up the entire building. They must be super strong. Bet you they work out. I, I, well, I guess technically they're always working out. I mean, if they're always just holding the building up like this, they're always working out. They definitely lift, bro. They definitely lift. No question about it. You can't. You couldn't argue it. I mean, look at them. Let's read this thing and find out what we're doing. You have been given your final trial. You must venture into the tomb of Nagasato, or something like that, and retrieve an ancient map for Lord Zash. Unfortunately, to get the map, you must awaken an ancient creature known as a Dashad. To access the Dashad chamber, you must first gather the ancient rods. We gotta gather up his rods. And hidden throughout the tomb, gather the ancient rods from within the tomb of Naga Sadao. Sado. Something like that. Alright, let's go get some rods, you guys. Time to go play with a rod. That's usually a good fun time. You can do it by yourself or do it with other people. It's just a fun time all around. I don't think I've ever got done playing with a rod and been like, that was boring. Always a good time. Now imagine if you meet a guy named Rod. A whole bunch of interesting things will happen at that point. What do you want, lady? You want to talk to me about something? Acolyte, may I speak to you for a moment? Oh no, it's got the flirt options, and I'm a I'm not a very nice guy on this character, so I'm gonna choose the weird, creepy flirt option. I just met you three seconds ago, but oh my goodness, you're attractive. For a beauty like yourself, of course. Oh yes, thank you. Did you throw open you're your mouth guarded, a little bit? Really. I did too. There was another acolyte not long ago who entered this tomb and did not come back. He... he died in there. I know this is definitely the most appropriate time for this. And you were worried to see a handsome man like me die too? No, I mean, not that... But that's not what I meant. I mean, it's just that the acolyte who went in there, what? he... He was a good sort. You think I'm ugly? Friendly and talkative. He said he was entering the tomb to prove himself to his father. Isn't that what we're I all doing? It would be nice if somebody took his body back and told his father he didn't make it. You've got legs. So go do it, you useless woman. I'd never survive in there. You got and even a if blaster? I, did, I wouldn't be allowed to see his father. Oh, that's he is probably a dark true. Guard stationed in the academy. None but Sith can ever set foot on the sacred ground where he stands watch. But you could find the body and bring it to his father. Please do this and honor the fallen. You have really big eyes. I just noticed that. Like, oh my goodness. Look how big your eyes are. I feel like I'm talking to the big bad wolf from Little Red Riding Hood. What big eyes you have. I, you know I expect a reward from this, right? I don't do it for free. This dark honor guard better make it worth my while. Thank you so much. If you find the acolyte's remains inside the tomb, let me know. I can tell you where to find his father in the academy. Good luck. Thanks. Maybe, maybe squint a little bit, you know? It won't look as weird. Your eyes won't look as like, oh my goodness. What, what, what is that movie? Uh, Alita? Like Alita Battle Angel or whatever? I need to watch that still. I still have not yet to watch that. You look like her. <laughs> Hello. Hello. He's still coming at me. He didn't stop. Oh no.
This guy over here. There you go. Oh no, the guy's remains. I'm collecting them. Oh no, what do you want? Who is this? Who comes speaking to Sauron? Is it Acolyte? Is it Sith? That's correct. I'm an Acolyte now, but I'll be Sith soon. Soon. Sauron once lived in the Academy, once like you. Sauron feasted on scraps of beast pens until the Overseer sent it away to starve. You should be angry. One of the Overseers abandoned you. You must want revenge. Revenge, yes, but it is. But the, its hunger is greater. When Sauron was small and weak, it lived in the darkness, ate the things that crawled and hid from the Sith. Overseer Prithor found Sauron, brought bones and meat for Sauron, made Sauron stronger, much better than supping on worms and rats. So how'd you end up here? What happened then? Overseer Prithor stopped feeding Sauron. Special mills kept Sauron from getting stronger and sent away Sauron hid here in the caves. But Sauron has no beast monsters hurt it. And Sauron is too weak to hurt monsters back. Sauron needs strength from Prithor's meat. Needs power. I guess I could assist you. I think I can help. Yes, yes. You could save Sauron. You could farm Prithor. Make him give us his special food. Sauron would be strong enough to hunt them. Was he feeding you people? Interesting. If Prithor is really behind all this, he may be worth investigating. Overseer Prith works on beast pins. He will have scraps for Sauron. Find him. Sauron will reward you. Sauron will wait for you here. Wait for its meal. My goodness. Having to read all that was... <laughs> just, just speak English, bro. You may not have the capability to actually speak English. I bet you they have the technology for you to just get some thing. Like a mechanical thing. Like a, and you could just strap on your neck or something. And you could just... When you talk, it just comes out as English. Or maybe we, I could just get some ear, you know, earphones that do the same thing, just you know, the other way around. I keep thinking someone's behind me, smacking me, but. Hey guys, just chilling, hanging out in the hallway. Smoking in the boys' room. It's, that is not what I wanted to do. You're gonna bug me anyway when I come through here, so I might as well just take you down. Take you down. Downtown. Look around. We'll get down. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to knock you on the ground. My, my bad, my apologies. I'm lying to you, yes. How did you know? I ran right past what I was supposed to do. I was too engrossed. I'm knocking people down. Collect the Rod of Hate. I did. I did it. Come here. Come here. There you go. Hello. Get out of my face, please. Alright, I'll just stand here and swing back at you. See how you like it. You're gonna knock me- you're gonna take me out if I do that. Oh my goodness. That was a close one. 
I know this is such a different experience uh, in playing a warrior or whatever because you can just stand in front of people's faces and do whatever you want. I gotta remember that's not what I'm doing. But once I have a companion, everything will be a lot easier. Hey guys, how's it going? Oh no. I don't know why I don't just do this. It's just better. And I'm gonna take another rod. I'm gonna take one for the team, you guys. Look at that. I took a rod. And I did it for the team. What team is that? I don't know. We'll have to think of a name. The Bull Sharks or something. Team Bull Sharks. I can do that too, look. I was gonna wait for this to happen, but... Casting out the outcasts. That's what you do with them, right? Stop yelling at me. Use your indoor voices, guys. Come on. You can do it. You can get out of my face. Oh, here it is. The magical rod of destiny. That's what you should tell your girlfriend. Or maybe not. That's how you get the girl to become your girlfriend. You tell her. You want to see the magical rod of destiny? If she says no, she's not the one for you. Who knows, maybe, you know? Maybe that'll be how she becomes your wife. And then you could tell your kids that story. I'm sure it'd be a great one. Those are gonna be weird stories about how people, you know, like, how did you, how did you and mom meet? Because a lot of people don't meet in, like, these romantic ways, <laughs> you know? Like, I was at a concert and I met her in the bathroom. <laughs> what was she doing in the men's bathroom? I don't know, but that's where she was. <laughs> Maybe it was cleaner in there, I don't know. Clean bathroom. You can never overestimate uh, or underestimate. You can never, yeah, you can never underestimate a clean bathroom. You might go someplace and the entire house is just awful. Stuff everywhere and you go in the bathroom and the bathroom's clean and you're like, well, at least the bathroom's clean. <laughs> you got one saving grace. Clean 
clean bathrooms. I mean, that's probably the one part of the house over any other part of the house you'd like to have clean, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you like a good, dirt, a good dirty bathroom. I don't know. You go in there and it just smells weird. Like, like, moldy and mildewy because, you know, it looks like wet towels. That just sounds awful. I wasn't thinking. I thought this move was off a of cooldown. It was not off a of cooldown. It is now, though. What was that noise you just made? That was a weird noise. What was that lightning? You guys just not shoot at me so much that's it's just not very nice you know did you guys did your parents not teach oh you didn't have parents did you somebody programmed you did they not program you to have manners oh i guess you were probably programmed by sith i don't think they have manners We're off to see the wizard. I don't know why I thought of that. That was what I thought of. I can see a wizard in here. Not a real wizard, just a guy pretending to be a wizard, but he's actually just using a machine to make himself, you know, like a hologram machine to make him look like a wizard. one. No, I didn't. <laughs> I shouldn't have said anything, huh? I didn't even notice what my health was and I just ran over there. That's okay. I have a feeling this is going to happen a lot more in this playthrough than the last one I did because well, I mean, I could use heavy armor and things like that. So I'm kind of just used to running in and just being like, ah, charge. It doesn't work that way, apparently. Apparently, I'm going to have to do something else. It's purple. Look at that. It's amazing. Best color on the in the on the planet. I was gonna say in the world, and then planet came out. Captain Planet, he's a hero. Gonna take pollution down to zero. You're welcome. I know everybody enjoyed that. Good old Captain Planet. You know, I'm, I'm really surprised they have not made a Captain Planet movie. I'm, like, really surprised, especially with all this climate change stuff going on, and... I'm, I'm, I'm freaking amazed they have not made a Captain Planet movie. Or a show? Or nothing, like... How have they not made a Captain Planet anything? This seems like the perfect time to make one with everybody freaking out about climate stuff. I 
it seems legitimately like the best time to do it. I don't know why they don't. Especially now where they don't have any good ideas and that they just love rehashing ideas and just making TV shows that have old things. So I'm, I'm really surprised they don't do that with Captain Planet. Oh my goodness, what's wrong with me? Oh no! Whoa! Whoa! whoa. Oh, whoa, oh my goodness. Oh, I, I, you know what? I'm starting to like it. I'm starting to like it. I like it now. At first, it overwhelmed me. But then after a while, I began, I began to like it. And then after that, I couldn't get enough of it. All right, let's get in here. Let's do it. Let's get in there. The place is uh, all the world force, conspires to mock me. Ha ha. Ha ha. Court, I waited for you. I did everything you said, and this is what you send me? Ha, uh, fate is cruel to me, little one, but not as cruel as it is to you. You have made a terrible mistake. No, 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 no. This is right. These were the instructions Zash gave me. I am to free you, and you will take me to the map in the final chamber of the tomb. I am Kinval, servant of Tulak Lord. He was called Lord of the Hate, Master of Gathering Darkness, Dark Lord of the Sith. Together, Tulak Lord and I devoured our enemies at the battles of Yin and Chabosh, and brought the entire Dromon system to its knees. And now I await his return. You know, I don't know how to—I don't know how to tell you this, buddy. I hate to be the one to break it to you, but Tulak Horde is dead. Dead? My lord, why did you come for me? I would have died with you. No, I would have slain death itself. As for you, you should not have come here. For I hunger, and I will devour you. Ah. No, please don't devour me, good sir. I don't think I'd taste very well, or very good. Either one, use either one of those. I don't think I'd taste to your liking. Come on, Kimba, you can do it. How are you still swinging at me? Ah, defeated. Defeated. Why did you not come for me too, Lark? Why have you allowed your servant to be reduced to this? Fine little one, in my great weakness, you have defeated me, so I must serve you. This is a law that binds me, but you are not my master. Denial won't change anything, buddy. I am your master. Get used to it. I am your master now. As you say, little one, but someday I will regain my strength. And then I'm coming for you. Oh my god, I thought he was coming for me now. You know, I'm gonna put you at a tank for the moment. Because, you know, you just look like one. And you probably will work well as one, especially with the class that I am. I thought about putting you on damage. Healing is always nice, just because, you know... Healing, but... I guess I can do that myself. I mean, look at you. You're definitely a tank, bro. You're definitely a tank, bro. Just put you with damage and then we could just mess things up. You and me.
Good job. You did a good job. You did a good job, Val. I'll just call you Val Kilmer. Or Val Kim. Kim Val. Val Kim. There we go. Hey, how's it going? Alright, I like having you. I'm just free to do my thing now and don't have to worry about annoyances. It's great. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Val, here we go, Val. Let's do it. And then I can just heal him, you know, might as well. That was mean, why did you do that to me? Do you think they modeled his name after Val Kilmer? It just almost seems too much like they did. <laughs> hey now. You're a rock star. Put your game on. Go play. I think. I'm not really sure about the word. I've lost that song in like 20 years. You're an all-star, something, it, it, some words. There's words in there, in the song, I'm pretty sure of it. I'm almost positive. Oh, this is kind of cool. Look at it, it's magical, it's like a, what is it, a star map or something, you think? Probably a star map, eh? It's cool. I remember to turn that back on before I did things, because it usually messes things up when I don't. It messes it all up. You know, I don't think I want to... Oh, I gotta go talk to that person. Let me see. I'll just go here, whatever. Whatever. Still be easier than having to go all the way through there, because I really don't want to, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? I'll just run back over here real quick. Quickly, quickly, run fast. Isn't that what the, uh... The Speedy Gonzales thing from Family Guy. <laughs> the knockoff. Wasn't that Family Guy? The knockoff. Fa Speedy Gonzales. Was that American Dad? I don't know. They're so similar at times. I get confused. You found him. That poor acolyte. Here it is. Yes. Yes. One dead acolyte. His father is... was... Naaman Fall. As I said before... He's one of the Dark Honor Guards in the Academy. If you take the Acolyte's remains to his father, I'm sure he'll be grateful. Hopefully this will pay off. But actually, I'm going to say this one. That's a good idea. Sounds like a worthy cause. Thank I don't you. know. It's good to see that there are more feelings embraced by the Sith than just hate and fury. 
You can find the acolyte's father outside the chamber well, of the dark buildings. Council. That's where he stands guard. That's what we do. Feelings. But I guess you are right. We do tend to focus more on rage and fury most of the time. And not necessarily... Anything other than that. How's everybody doing? Good, good, that's good. I'll talk to you later. I'll I'll do whatever you want me to do, but I won't do it at the moment. Oh. You just said something, didn't you, Cal? Val? How? How things have changed? How long since my master's been gone? Well, it's been a long time. It's been a very long time, Val. I hate to break it to you. It's been so long that disco is not popular anymore. I know. I know how much you like disco. But it's just not a thing anymore, bro. When your enemies meet death, it is my face that shall greet them. But you were really angry about this whole disco thing. I'm telling you, Overseer, it cannot be done. I went into the tomb, I saw the Dashad across the chasm, but I could not get to it. I did it. But the map, the map. Lord Zash is adamant she will not take an apprentice without the map. Not the map. I'm telling you, Lord Zash wants the impossible. No one is ever going to get that map. I did it. And you were saying? Guess again. No one except me, you mean. The map and the Dashard. Get that monster out of here this instant and give me the map. No, it's not possible. You wretch, you filth. You must have cheated somehow. How did you do it? How did you release the monster? Well, I'm not a monster. I am Ken Val, servant to our core devourer of rebels at Yen and Ken Shabash, consumer of Drummond System. I am hungry. Right. You... you must have cheated. You must have. You'll pay for this! Fawn, patience. You will have your chance at this whelp. After oh, you my goodness. personally deliver this map to Lord Zash. I'm gonna go with... Do you think, Val? Eat them both, Kem. Don't be that way soon. Keep your pet at bay for just a moment, Acolyte. Oh, oh hold I on. Have a word with Fawn. Hold up. Lord Zash. Yes, Fawn. Now, where's my map? Uh, here. I have no idea. Lord Zash, R right here. You found it for me, Fawn? How wonderful. I will kill you, Fawn. You are one dead man. Silence. Okay, my bad. Fawn I'm sorry. will tell me what happened, won't you, Fawn? You wouldn't dare lie to me, would you? Because it would be a shame for me to discover that you lied to me. I would tell her the now, truth. One more time. Did you bring this map back from Nagasado's tomb? I, uh, I, no, uh, no. Good answer. No, I, I didn't. I, I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Hearken, you fool. In any other group for any other lord, this young man would have torn the other acolytes to shreds. What were you trying to prove? That you could outsmart me? That you knew better than me what kind of person I wanted for an apprentice? You fool! <laughs> There's your pet, Harkon. Clean this mess up. Apprentice, meet me in my chambers upstairs. Yes, master. As you say. This is not. I'm not going to make her angry. Without Lord <laughs> Zash to save you, you are nothing. I have connections that will hunt you wherever you go. You can talk all you want, buddy, but it doesn't change anything. That's big talk for a worm like you. Get out of my sight, slave. Your new master is waiting for you upstairs. You know, what it's worth, Harkin, I do kind of like you. 
I get what you were doing. You were just doing it. Well, I don't know. You're better than Barris. Put it that way. And you're pretty. You're kind of more interesting than the other beginner uh, master guy, than the 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 warrior story. I kind of like you. You, you were kind of good at what you do. You played your role well. Basically is what I'm saying. What is this in here? Hello. What do you want? I'm training slaves to feed the beasts, and I don't have time to chat. Somebody sent me for... Food? I'm here for a special meal. It's you real good. You... You've been talking to Seyrun, haven't Finger you? Finger-licking good. That creature was close to me when I was an acolyte. Yeah, he's cool, dude. It helped me survive my trials. It traveled places I couldn't, told me everything it heard and saw. It had been living off vermin before I came along. I figured out a way to make it healthier, stronger. Seyrun's special meals. Go on. I continue. Seyrun never knew exactly what I fed it. Its meals weren't just beast fodder. It was people. Seyrun ate the corpses of the Academy's failures. Yeah, I know. The bones and blood of dead acolytes. Kind of figured. Feeding on their energy after death, it grew exponentially more powerful with every meal and became strong in the dark side. And, and you never thought that that would happen? You're a freaking idiot. How did a fool like you become an overseer? Maybe taking Seyrun was a mistake, but I was... We were strong together. When I saw how twisted Seyrun was becoming, I sent it away. It was becoming hungrier all the time, and I feared it would attack the living. Destroying it seemed impossible. It could heal any injury it suffered. I hoped it would find a new home somewhere. But it seems we must act more decisively. I'd actually rather help it at this point. We could. Or I could give it the meal at once. Yeah, just feed Aid it, bro. Seyrun and it will turn on us. No, I One won't. One more taste of power, and it will begin hunting Acolyte. I can't allow that. Together, we must poison Seyrun. Before I sent Seyrun away, I developed a powerful toxin, but I didn't have the heart to use it. It won't kill the creature, but it should strip it of its power. And after that... So let's say we poison it. What happens to Seyrun then? My best guess? If we do this, Seyrun won't survive much longer. It will hide as best it can and slowly starve. But the alternative is to let it become a living horror. Now I'm feeding it, bro. Serun needs to become strong. It needs its food. Serun's not loyal to the Sith. Not to me, and certainly not loyal to you. How but do you know? I have a degree of loyalty to the creature. If this is what you insist on doing, I'll give you what Serun wants. You do realize he might be there he might be valuable. Perhaps the creature will prove useful again. It's an interesting experiment, if nothing else. Perhaps. This should be what you need. Feed it to Seyrun, and the creature will have the strength it desires. Let's hope we're not making a mistake. What do you mean, bro? This sounds like the perfect Sith mad scientist experiment. This is totally what you do. Are you kidding me? It's what you do every time. Because it's interesting. And that's what Sith do. At least in my opinion. That's what I think they do. They certainly don't worry about the well-being of other people. Like, like that guy is doing. At least not random people they don't know. <laughs> ah, my magnificent new apprentice. Congratulations are in order, I believe. I am grateful. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. You yeah. It, my I know. Now, I was just looking over this astonishing map we got back, and I can tell we have a lot of work ahead of us. Oh boy. Murder and mayhem. Patience, my apprentice. We must go about this with tact. All in good time. You must meet me on Drummond Cards. Then we can talk more. That's new to me. I don't think I've ever heard of it. Drummond Cars is the capital of the Sith Empire. It's a dark place, charged with dark energy. It's also the first location. 
get a lamp. I don't I'll know. Meet you in my in the city down in Cross City. There we can speak more freely the world without the fear of unfamiliar names. Oh no, who is it? This is the night safe. I want you to have it. Cool. Wee. Boys, what a lightsaber. Cool beans. Great. And what a fine weapon of murder it is. I've always wanted one of these. Excellent. Me too. I'm glad you like it. It served me well. Now remember. My chambers, the Citadel, Drummond Kaos. It's imperative that we get to work on this as soon as possible. Oh no, trouble is afoot. You guys just got sticks, though. I actually have a- Oh, that guy's got a Stop lightsaber. Stop right there, slave. Darth Scotia has a message for you. I don't care. What is it, uh, half off on, uh, like, chewing gum or, like, something at, on Thursdays? Half off Wendy's, like, you got just, just a whole bunch of coupons? Well, I'll take them. You know, you're asking for trouble here, buddy. I am a Sith apprentice. Show some respect or I'll smash your face in. That was kind of cringy. Shut up, you insignificant worm. The message is this. You yeah. will not go to Drummond Kass. Everything you've done here, everyone you've dealt with, Lord Zash included, is insignificant. Darth Scotia has eyes and ears on Corriban. He knows what your master is up to and he is displeased, to say the least. On Corriban, Lord Zash may have her way, but on Drummond Kass, it's a different story. So you see, you have to die. Him. Why don't you show him what you can do, bro? Kem, what is it you do to force users again? I consume them and spit out their bones. Autosin, is that a Deshard? It is. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Howard, fight, you fool! <laughs> His face. All right, let me see here. Which one of these green... That one, or that one. That's tough. I kind of like the green one, honestly. I feel like I usually go with, like, this one, or this one. I'm gonna go with... with that. Yeah. Okay. I, I didn't mean to do that. And now I have a lightsaber instead of a stick. There we go. Isn't that great? Good stuff. I have no idea what you said, buddy. But it was awesome, though. What, what's checking out? What did you say? All will fall. No, just those guys. Just those guys will. We're fine. Everyone else is good. But I am going to end this one at this point because I am not ready to leave this planet yet. I want to finish up some things here, maybe do some of the other side stuff. And that'll be a whole thing and take a little longer than, you know, like three minutes. So I'm going to just end this one at this moment. I hope everyone enjoyed themselves as per usual. I did. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe and all of those things. But the one thing that you got to do is you got to have a good day.
Definitely got to do that. Non-negotiable. And I shall see you all in the next one. And I guess now there is only one thing left to say. And that is... Goodbye. <laughs>